everybody and welcome to my channel, our channel, everyone's channel. We are... My... Hi everybody and welcome to our channel. My name's Daniel Arben and I'm the filmmaker behind our World War One aviation film, Hawker. Over the course of these few videos, we're going to be taking a, a bit of a closer look at our project. Uh, we're still very much in the early stages, so I want to include everybody right from the beginning of, of what we're up to, uh, chatting a little bit about the film, about our props and set, etc. And uh, really getting everybody involved from the beginning. So please, please, please subscribe. Sub subscribe button down here, I think. That's what everyone does. And I'd like to uh, put it out to you guys. Leave your question in the comments and I'll be looking through the, the questions asked and, and we'll be picking out some of those questions uh, to answer in uh, following videos. What is our film about? Our film is about Lano Hawker. For those who don't know, Lano Hawker was a British pilot in World War I and he is widely regarded as being Britain's first ace. He was the first uh, pilot to successfully mount a machine gun to the side of uh, his aircraft and shoot down an enemy aircraft, uh, which he did three times in one day on 25th July 1915. For this feat, he was awarded Victoria Cross and more importantly, got a film made out of them. <laughs> no, I won't do that. For this feat, he was awarded the Victoria Cross. He then went on to command 24 Squadron, which was the first single-seater scout squadron uh, primarily tasked with kind of fighting and escorting duties. Uh, and that period went up until what he is most famous for was participating in the longest dogfight of World War I. It was a very famous battle that he had with Manfred von Richthofen, uh, better known as the Red Baron. Unfortunately, a battle he lost. So our short film is all about his uh, Victoria Cross winning attacks, those first victories on 25th July 1915. Should we have a successful short film? And I really hope we do. <laughs> um, we would like to use that short film as a proof of concept to help fund a full-length feature film. The feature film we would like to make is from this time with his Bristol Scout um, all the way through uh, his time with 24 Squadron fighting the Fokker Scourge and, uh, and, and lastly his, his famous battle with uh, Richthofen at the end. There's a real lack of films of this genre having been made within my lifetime and, and the way that I would want to make it uh, is that there hasn't been one at all. Uh, especially when you take the, the early war period. Uh, you, you look at the film catalogue, and they're all based in 1917, 1918, when the fighting was a lot, um, a lot more intense, the machines were better. This early war period is, is largely uncovered. Um, and it's an interesting story. It's a story that interested me when I was researching it. And, and ultimately, it's, it's a story I, I really want to tell, and I think it will be well received. I hope it will be well received. I remember reading about Lano Hawker and realising I, I hadn't really heard the story of, um, of his, uh, his side-mounted Lewis gun and, and the problems that the, the pilots had at the beginning of the war of, of how to shoot without shooting your propeller off and, uh, and the evolution of uh, the fighter um, role. And that was something that fascinated me because I'd never really thought about it. And, and the, the, the cogs started going in my brain. Um, or, or, why don't you make a film about it? Um, it's an absolutely crazy idea. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I, I, I had to spend quite a lot of time um, establishing in my own brain. Is, is this crazy idea too crazy? A am I... Do I have absolutely no chance of being able to do this? Um, and that was a question I asked myself for quite a long time. Uh, uh, there are moments when I, I still ask 
myself that question, am I completely nuts to be trying to do this? Uh, but I, I've spent a lot of time, so it's been almost two years since the first trials that we had uh, with, our, with our miniatures, our little plastic models. And, uh, and we've come a long way. I've, I've learned a lot in the process. And I think that time was primarily me convincing myself that I wasn't mad uh, before I really kind of told anybody else. Uh, so we're now at the stage with our, uh, our test shots that you can, you can see on our trailer. Um, that we're getting to the point, so I was thinking, I think this, this might actually be doable. These, these look all right. Um, we've, we've still got a long way to go. Um, our, our test shots are not finished, so, so please bear that in mind. Um, that they are a work in progress. We, we still have a, a lot to do on it, but they're getting to a point where I was thinking, actually, I'm now at a point, maybe I can convince others that uh, th this project is a goer. So that's what we're trying to do. And that's why I'm now putting it out to the public and saying, here we are, um, please look at our project. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe for more. Uh, it all really helps. And uh, thank you for everybody that subscribed to our emails and follow us on social media. And a massive thank you to those who have shared our stuff on social media as well. The big thing for this project is reach and how many people we can get to know about this project. The more the merrier and the more chance we'll have of making it a great success. So thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.